Mr. Chairman, I've met with the Federal Transit Administration, who is our federal overseer on Honolulu's mass transit project in Washington, D.C., a number of times. I've asked the question of the FTA that if, for some reason, this body should place on the 2012 general election ballot a question regarding Honolulu's mass transit project, and if that question should be in conflict with the 2008 ballot question regarding steel on steel that passed, could we perhaps be in jeopardy of the federal government requiring Honolulu to reimburse the upwards of $200 million that the federal government has given us thus far for our project? The answer from the FTA was yes. They would come back to Honolulu and they would require us to repay every cent that they have given us thus far for this project. Mr. Chairman, that's a grave concern for me. And that's not a hypothetical, Mr. Chairman. That's a definitive. The federal government has assured me that if, in fact, the charter amendment like this passes, they will indeed come back and require us to repay them. That's not an assumption. It's a fact. It came from the FTA themselves. In light of that fact, Mr. Chairman, I am unable to support this particular measure moving forward at this time. I've, I think the implications are great. I believe that it's a certainty that the federal government will in fact require Honolulu and our taxpayers to reimburse them for the federal monies that have been expended on our project thus far. And Mr. Chairman, those consequences will be dire to the people of the city and county of Honolulu. Therefore, uh, Mr. Chairman, I will not be able to support this going forward at this time. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Vice Chairman.